everyone, and welcome to the first in a new series. Um, <clears throat> this is the Audition Diaries, and today I have an audition. I'm not going to take you through all of my day because that would take way too long. And I'm sure you're not super interested in things like being, being put on my makeup because I'm not that good at it. <clears throat> right now my hair is done, but it's tied up in like a Johnny Tremaine Young Colonial Apprentice style. Um, I promise I will take it out before I sing. I also will change out of the $3 t-shirt that I'm wearing. Um, but for right now, I have a long drive ahead of me and I want to be comfortable. On the day of an audition, I don't like to warm up all in one go. I like to sort of warm up slowly and incrementally. So right now, I'm going to try and walk you through my early morning warm up, just a little bit of it. Um, you can tell I just woke up and you can see outside that it is pretty early in the morning. Let's hope my lavalier mic can actually stay in some of my singing. We'll see. I'm a little breathy this morning, so I'm going to add a voice consonant to the beginning of this. A voice consonant is just a consonant that you can sing a pitch on. G territory. I am definitely modifying my E vowel to something just a little less focused, partially because I'm stressed about this mic being able to handle anything, uh, especially anything operatic, and partially because it's early and I don't want to sing E's on F sharp right now. I just do not want. Now I'm going to do just a little bit of lip trills. I warmed up to a uh, I think an A, an A flat, I don't know, I wasn't paying attention. I warmed up to somewhere that felt just a little bit tight, and I thought instead of trying to push myself into being warm at whatever o'clock in the morning when my audition's on until 5, I'm just going to chill out and do a few lip trolls. <laughs> So that's enough of my warm up in the morning. I will do more probably in the car that you won't see because I don't want to die on the interstate. And then hopefully at the audition location, unfortunately for opera singers, a lot of auditions don't provide studio space for singers to warm up in. So if I'm lucky, I can find an empty stairwell or a bathroom. Um, on an unused floor. I am not sure. I've never auditioned in this location before and I've never auditioned for this company before so I'm not exactly sure of what amenities will be available to me when I get there but I promise you we will find out in a few hours. All right, see you soon. All right, so I am here. Uh, I'm here super early because I'm a crazy person and show up to auditions three hours early. So I'm going to kill some time by shopping at Sephora. Yep. Three hours later. Okay, so I actually have a place to put my stuff and a piano to practice with before I sing. Like I said earlier, it's always kind of a crapshoot, so I'm really, really happy that I actually have a room to warm up in. All right, I think today it's Il est doux, il est bon from Herodiad. So like I said, I actually have a practice room and I'm about to get started with some heavy duty warm-ups. 
unfortunately um, my phone camera and audio will not be able to capture them at all well so I am going to let you go for now um, I'm in my dress I'm in my earrings so uh, when I went to uh, Sephora to just waste some time a woman came up to me and told me I had one earring in my ear because <laughs> the back of one of my earrings fell out so luckily I was able to find a pencil if you can see yep that is pencil eraser and unfortunately while I was putting in re-putting in the earrings that had a back um, it fell out too and it fell into my car cushions and I could not find it but luckily I had a second pencil so hopefully no one will realize that there are uh, rubber pencil erasers in my ears right now or rather backing up my ears and earrings right now. So I just got out of the audition and I think it went really well um, despite not actually knowing my musical theater piece. Um, I learned my musical theater audition piece in two days and of course they asked for it and it went really well. Um, I'll tell you more and I'll tell you more about my reactions to how I felt in the audition and how how they, I thought they responded because, you know, you never really know. Um, but it felt good and I will talk more about it when I have driven the three and a half hours it takes to get home. My tank is full and I am on the road again. Talk to you soon. Bye. Hey everyone. So I'm finally home from the audition. Um, I, it was a really long drive and I'm really tired. I think it's like midnight right now. Um, I got detoured. I ended up in Arkansas, which was definitely not a state that I needed to drive through, but unfortunately, um, my Google Maps don't work when I'm talking on the phone. The people who loved me and that I love called me and I answered and we talked and got very distracted <laughs> and ended up in Arkansas. So, yeah, detour. Country roads did not take me home. So my thoughts on the audition, I thought it went really well. Um, the amenities were really nice. It was actually at the company's location. So, oh, hello. It was at the company's location. So um, it was a beautiful building and the panel itself, they were, it was comprised of some very nice people. It made me feel very comfortable, which is what you always want. When you're in an audition you're already stressed out you don't need to feel anxious because the people there are rude or disinterested um they they were very friendly i sang three pieces first you said looking your foot you can lick your foot later <laughs> i sang three pieces which is great um usually on in audition a little up usually in auditions you only sing one maybe two if you're lucky so to sing three was really exciting um, and there was a little mini interview throughout the audition which was also really nice i even got to ask a couple of questions about the company um, which is rare that any young artist gets to ask about them usually people are like take it and be grateful on you so <laughs> that was nice they did ask for my musical theater piece, which we're going to talk about because two days ago, I double checked the email for all of the details about where to go, what time, blah, blah, blah. And I had forgotten that there was a musical theater piece. Um, which means I learned my musical theater audition song in 48 hours. Two days. Two days. Two days to learn my four and a half minute mental breakdown from the Drowsy Chaperone. I sing Bride's Lament, which is just ridiculous. But they asked for it because of course they asked for it and it went really well. You know, um, there's something to be said for having the same method every time you learn a piece of music, whether it's Piero Lunaire, which is a Schoenberg um, tone poem that I sang 
in 2018 or something easy like Mozart. I learn music the same way every time. Like, yes, things can get a little bit different in, in terms of how much time I need to spend on one section of my method, but same method every time, works like a charm. And in two days, I had Drowsy Chaperone ready to go for an audition, even though I've never sung it with a pianist before until today. Um, but it seemed like the panel enjoyed it. They laughed. Uh, they did not cry. Thank God. I almost cried. No, I didn't. That's not true. It went really well. I was happy about it. Um, Percy's licking my foot, which means it is, I don't, I don't know what it means. I guess he missed me. Um, I'm going to take it as my cue to go to bed because I am rambling and I am very tired and I really want to wipe all of this audition war paint off my face. So thank you so much for following um, the inaugural Opera Audition Diaries and toy 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 until next time.